When it comes to free spreadsheet tools, it's tough to beat Google Sheets. As part of the Google Drive suite of apps, it shares a lot of similarities with Excel. Of course, if you're coming from years of using Excel, you might feel a bit lost in Sheets. While plenty of features carry over from one platform to the next, actually performing those tasks takes some learning. If you're trying to sort and filter your data alphabetically in Google Sheets, you've come to the right guide. When it comes to working in Sheets, organizing information by auto-sorting and filtering data, whether alphabetically or numerically, saves you the hassle of doing manual edits. Sorting refers to reorganizing information while applying filters narrows the data down. Filtering allows you to hide select portions of the information from view. While either tool helps you analyze datasets, they both have their own share of quirks for controlling how your data works. Filters work more directly, sorting your data and showing a specific filter when anyone opens your spreadsheet. Filters also have different view options, which help you save and name filters and share different filter views with anyone who opens your document. As an example of sorting data, let's enter random one in cell A1 and random two in B1, as well as some random characters. To sort them, let's first highlight the cells we'd like to sort. When highlighting an entire sheet, just click the top left corner of the sheet. For multiple cells, left-click on a single cell and hold down the Shift key, then left-click the ending cell. Next, click the Data tab and select Sort Range. In the pop-up window, check the box next to Data has header row if your columns have titles. Otherwise, do not check this box. Now, select the column you first want sorted by using the drop-down menu next to Sort By. Then select the sorting order by clicking the A to Z radial for descending or Z to A for ascending. This works with numerical values too. If you'd like to apply another sorting rule, click the Add Another Sort Column button and follow the same steps. Keep in mind that the order of your rules determines how the sorting is done. You can also delete a rule by clicking on the trash icon to the right of a rule. Finally, click the Sort button to sort your range according to your rules. Using filters is a great way to temporarily hide data in a spreadsheet. To do this, select the cell range using the same steps we just used in data sorting. Then click the Data tab and select Create a Filter. This will put a filter icon within the first cell of a selected range as well as encase all cells within the range in a green border. Clicking on the filter icon will show several options, including filter by color, condition, and values. Under Filter by Values, you can either select All, Clear, or Uncheck Data Points that you want hidden and click OK. You can also type something in the search box to shorten your list. For example, if we have double A and AB in the data, typing A will shorten your list to words that start with A. The filter applied to a sheet can be disabled too. Just click on the Data tab, then select Turn Off Filter. To create a filter view, click the Data tab, select Filter Views, then select Create New Filter View. Once done, you can sort and filter any data as you wish. You can also modify the filter view by clicking the cogwheel icon next to the X icon at the top right of the spreadsheet to rename, duplicate, change, or delete the filter view. To get out of filter view, just click the X icon in the top right corner of the spreadsheet. Finally, we can automatically alphabetize data in Google Sheets. On desktop, select the column that contains the data you want to sort alphabetically. You can either click on the column's header or highlight the top cell all the way down to the final cell. Then, click on the Data tab and choose between Sort Sheet by Column A to Z or Sort Range by Column A to Z. The former alphabetizes all data in the spreadsheet in correlation to the data range highlighted, while the latter alphabetizes all selected data just within the range and doesn't disrupt the other areas of the spreadsheet. If you'd rather use a formula to automatically alphabetize your data, you can do that too. To do this, highlight the cell that will display the results of the data that has been automatically alphabetized. As an example, let's enter A, C, B, E, and D in cells A1 to A5. Then input the formula equals sort A colon A1 true in cell B1. Column B will now display the data in column A alphabetically, including whatever new or edited data in column A is added. To sort them in descending order, just change true to false. Oh. 
If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Google Sheets and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy. Thank you.